bars to a top TV show. His pals tell how they help. Tim. Well, then I cannot accept a gift for you. Come on. It's Christmas. At Christmas, you give gifts. So why don't you just... You know why. You know exactly why. It's why I told you at Iva's wedding. Damien is my husband. And I love him. And I trust him. And he trusts me. Now, when you kissed me out at the pond that night, it never should have happened. Then why did it? I don't know. Maybe it was the snow. Maybe it was all the memories. None of that matters now. What matters is that it was a mistake. But how come you kissed me back? I should have done that. Look. The gifts are... Oh, man, when you see the tree I got, it is so big. I need a hand getting it out of the truck. Come on. No, you got it. I... Right. Come on, buddy. Listen, the whole family's going to be here in a second, okay? And that includes Damien, whether you like it or not. Do us all a favor. Do yourself a favor. Lay off. I can't. I'm in love with her. Well, well, thank you. Christmas at the Mass. Christmas at I'll the I'll tell mass. you, it's been a, lo a long time since I was uh, welcome around here. <laughs> it's been too long, I guess. But anyway, isn't it nice to be back on the team? It is. Something I want to ask you before the others arrive. And I just want to know, how long has Connor known? I mean, it's strictly ultra-new. Known what? Well, you've been making all these bridges with her again, that she's carrying the murdered man's baby in her tummy. How long has she known that? I think you have a few too many sugar plums dancing in your head. Oh, darling. I like that. The age of chivalry is not dead. You always were such a marvelous liar. The only way that she's not pregnant is if she had the abortion already. Wait, wait a minute. We want to run this past me again? I saw her. I saw her at the community health center, at the, you know, the clinic that does abortions this afternoon. And she really, she looked so forlorn that I felt sorry for her, almost. But that was at the community health center. The community health center. Well, that explains it. Walsh Montgomery funds services for women and children. She was obviously checking up on business there. Oh, no, darling. This woman did not have grants on her mind. Lou, I got to say you really know how to deck the halls. Hey, don't you look splendid? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I'm Merry glad Christmas. you think so. Same to you. Black leather. Definitely your color. Oh. Lou. <laughs> <laughs> I need to clarify a couple of things with you about the night Link Lafferty was killed. Yeah, me too. Connor, you okay? I will be after we talk. I should have told you this a long time ago. Well, I'm here now. You just tell me exactly how it was. First of all, you've got to believe that I never wanted Link dead. <sighs> oh, hi. Hi, Connor. Connor. I got your message, so I just thought... What's going on? It's about Link and the night that he was killed. I was just about to tell Margot what really happened. Uh, no. No, you're not going to say another word. today by new Fisher Favorites Crunchy Baked Peanuts. It's Fisher flavor, or it's just plain nuts.
Getting bored with just plain nuts? Introducing new fish of favorites, tropical fruit and nut mix. A more exciting flavor combination. Pineapple, papaya, sweet cream almonds, honey roast peanuts, and whole cashews. Crunchy nuts with juicy real fruit. New fish of favorites, tropical fruit and nut mix. The newest fish of favorites. It's fish of flavor, or it's just plain nuts. You've thought they were the only way to fight stains. But there's something with power that hits stains like a hammer. Power that cuts stains like a knife. It's not a pre treater It's Ultra Era with concentrated stain fighting power. This pre treater can't beat this stain even with detergent. But watch Era cut through with just a spray of water for power that comes on like thunder. It's Ultra Era, the power tool for stains. Norelco says don't shave your legs, baby them with Norelco's incredibly close, comfortable shave that leaves you baby smooth, baby soft. Norelco Lady Shave Razors, dry or wet, we make close comfortable. If you hate the taste of cough syrup, throw in the spoon. Introducing Brixol Cough Liquid Caps. Each one's concentrated to give you eight hours of relief with no bad taste. New Brixol Cough Liquid Caps. Isn't that better? I wasn't confessing, Jess. I didn't think you were. But I have to advise you as your attorney that anything you say can be used against you. So before you make any statements, we need to talk. Jess, we were just having a nice, pleasant conversation. Well, good, no. Margo, good. Then you won't mind if I confer with my client, privately. You can wait in the kitchen right around the corner. What is going on? I can't keep this up. I can't keep lying. Lying about what? The night that Link was killed, I told the police that I didn't go to Link's motel. And that was a lie. I did. I was there with him in his room. And I must have left a little bit, be a little bit before he was murdered. And the alibi that you and Evan were... It was a lie. And Evan told me tonight that they have a witness that saw me at the motel. And he identified me to the police. Jess, you've got to believe me. He was, he was alive when I left this motel. I swear to you. Okay. Okay, let's try to clean this up the best we can. Sit down. Margo, we're ready. Look, uh... Connor wasn't able to tell you everything that happened that night until tonight. Will you mind explaining why? Because when I first found out that Link was murdered, I was in shock. No, there's more to it than that. I was humiliated. Because I went to see him that night, shortly before he was killed. And I was afraid that you would think that I had something to do with his death. Well, Evan had said that you both we're working on some computer problem. Well, Evan made that up. And I went along with his story. And once I had, it got harder and harder to tell the truth. Please don't blame Evan, though. He was just trying to protect me. And I guess I let him. Because I was feeling a little shaky at the time. Not about anything having to do with Link. It was... It was some personal things that I really can't get into right now. Well, you may have to, Connor. Well, not tonight. She doesn't. All right, well, let's stick with what went on in Link's motel room for now. Uh, well, I went there on impulse. He had hurt so many people, and I just, I felt like I had to do something to stop him. Not the way you think, though, Margot. I got there about 5.30, I guess. And he actually acted like he expected me. And then, and then... And then I told him off about the havoc that he was creating in the office and about how many people he had hurt, and he just smirked. He couldn't care less. So I offered to buy him out of his contract for $100,000. I just wanted him to go away. I just wanted him to leave us alone. I wrote him a check for $10,000 right there. 
And the money wasn't enough, and he wanted more, and he... He what? Connor. <gasps> Connor, what did he do to you? Evan's gonna think he's walking into a forest when he gets here. Oh, yeah, you two have gotten pretty close lately. He's a very lucky young man. Thanks. I feel kind of lucky myself. Although I have been kind of worried about him lately. It's all the stuff that's been coming down since Link was killed. It's been really hard on... Boy, that was really stupid of me. I'm sorry. I know that this has been hard on Debbie, huh? She'll be fine. Excuse me. You okay. think we okay. no such thing. Everyone gather around. Got Santa Claus is here. Santa Claus is here. And he has decided that he wants to give everyone a special little gift tonight. Uh, nothing fancy. Strictly small stuff. Oh, it looks to me like a 59 Stratocaster. No 59 Stratocaster, but it is from the heart. Well, thank you. This year, oh, this oh, Grandma Emma, well, you, you have had anything a for Ned? Yes, Christmas I think that we do. Oh, did you oh, make Holden? Holden. Thank you, Rosanna. <laughs> Me too. Oh, Rosanna, yes. chocolate. Thank you, Holden. All right. Oh, I like that. Those are great. I hope you've changed your mind. Well, the vagabond life becomes you. You look marvelous. Thank you. Nick. How do we get them down on the wards once they've seen Paris? <laughs> San Francisco, I eh? Oh, San Francisco. Hi. Uh, you know... How are you? Yes, I've, I've heard... Uh, how are you? <laughs> I'd rather talk about how you are in San Francisco. Oh. You know I did love designing. Did you? Mm -hmm. Well, wow. Uh, I'm working on the telephone calls. I'm using your tricks. Yes. Good, oh, goody, goody. So we'll get through to our people. Yeah, we will. We've got luck in our little, little baby oh. might come to her. Yeah. <laughs> Why would you think there's a connection between a bomb threat in Rome and that guy, Hans, who blew up Patricia Kingsley's car? He was killed in an explosion in Montega. Aye, but don't forget Santiago, his cohort in the police department. He disappeared. Now, maybe Santiago has decided to take Hans' place and get into the terrorist business himself. Santiago, I don't know. I doubt it, Duncan. The guy's strictly lightweight. I don't think he's got the brains. Craig, anybody can put together some plastique and a detonator. Yeah. It doesn't take oh, any bloody brains to do... Oh, you look like conspirators. Here's your cup of the Montiado. What's well, going on? You. Are you talking about your suspicions, your instincts about the wicked Grimaldi? More than instinct, I'm afraid. There was a bomb threat made at Kingsley Malta in Rome yesterday, and as of now, I don't know whether the Grimaldi should be suspected or protected. He never saw it coming. A bad cold was hitting Scotty hard. <coughs> Time for vapor rub. That's not vapor rub. It's new vapor rub cream. Smell the vapors. First, we rub it on your chest and neck. Feel it working? Vapor Rub's medicated vapors start to work instantly, clearing stuffy noses and quieting coughs. And see, it's not greasy. So the next day, if you're feeling that much better, maybe you should go to school. New Greaseless Vicks Vapor Rub Cream. Breathe the vapors, breathe the relief. Fruit of the Loom. Comfort that's a joy to give and receive. Somewhere between sundown and sunrise comes Stetson Sierra. So distinctive, it's the new power of attraction. I love eggs, from my head down to my legs. Scrambled or fried with my family, all the guys. I love eggs, breakfast or lunch, dinner or brunch. Ooh, how I love eggs. 1989 government research shows eggs have 22% less cholesterol than previously thought. Oh, you gotta love it, the incredible, edible eggs. I love eggs. Still no snow, huh? Uh-uh. I bet I can make it snow. No, no way. Uh -uh. 
Have you had hot cocoa? No. Well, no wonder. Come on. <laughs> with Carnation Hot Cocoa. He's exciting, he's romantic, and he's celebrating Christmas Eve in style. Join Aaron Neville and Carol Burnett for the all-new Harry Connick Jr. Christmas Eve special Friday. Hey, Bob. Hey. Not that I'm pushing, but you checked my liver, so uh, what's the verdict? I mean, do I get a shot with that new Alzheimer's drug or what? Mac, I really admire your enthusiasm, but this medication is... I know. I know, it's not a cure, but it's a ray of hope, and I need that right now, and so does Nancy. Okay. We'll start tomorrow. Terrific. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Okay. That is some funky gingerbread house. You know, I keep yeah. hearing about this thing. You guys want to check this gingerbread house out? Come on. I'll take you guys out. Come on. Come here, buddy. Let's go check this thing out. I hear it's very, very, very special. Let's go. Okay? Let's go, bud. Excuse me, huh? Andy. Andy. I don't recognize this one. Oh, shh. Andy, we went out, we shopped together, we wrapped together, we promised to stay within our budget together. Don't tell me you went out and spent money on something we can't afford. All done. Let's give it a test run. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, stop that now. Stop hey, that now. That's a good spirit. <laughs> Look who's here. Hi, guys. Hello. Look who's here, everybody. Hi, Hi, guys. Merry Christmas. Would you like some eggnog? What is that? Well, sure you come will. over and I'll, uh, I'll give you a taste. She has a special Christmas drink. Hey, yes. You know, I really wish your mom could be here for real country Christmas. Mmm. They'd love it, I'm sure. You know, but Christmas in Malta is pretty special, too. So. Yeah. Well, why didn't you bring your cousin Eduardo along? I mean, old, old Eddie. I couldn't see him stringing up popcorn, that's for sure. I uh, know, Eduardo is on his way to Rome. Oh. Business? Yes, business. As a matter of fact, you might be in the same position yourself soon. Really? Why? I'm working on the Kingsley Malta account. Or should I say back on? I'm surprised Damien didn't tell you about it. Well, Connor asked me to reconsider, and I agreed, provided a hold and accepted to go to Rome occasionally. Bye by me. There are things in Rome I'd like to explore. Hold and, um... Why don't we go help Seth with that garland? Okay, I don't think fine. he's making much progress. <laughs> well, 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 guess who just woke up oh, the little Estelle. Just in time. Hey, your old man's here. I'm sorry, I hope you don't mind my dropping by like this. No, I don't mind. Only if you stay. No matter how old your wood furniture may be, there's no better way to keep it looking young than with New Pledge. Because New Pledge has cleansing conditioners to gently lift the dirt, the smudges, and the fingerprints that regular dusting can leave behind. New Pledge with cleansing conditioners for beautiful wood every time you dust. From S.E. Johnson Wax. Bernie, my beak's all stuffed up. I feel nice and clear. Yeah, all stuffed up. Mel, try nice and clear. New sugar-free nice throat and has 40% more icy medicine to make your nose feel clear. Ah, uh, now I feel nice and clear like you. They say we look alike, too. What makes everything so When your nose is sore, does your tissue make it worse? Oh, it hurts. It's sore. It feels miserable. Every time I wipe my nose, it gets worse. That's why there's Puffs Plus, the only tissue with moisturizing lotion with aloe. I can feel the lotion. So it's better at soothing sore noses it nice. because it's less irritating than dry tissues. This is a good feeling nose. We're both not going back to dry tissue. They're happy, I'm happy. I'm gonna buy Puffs Plus. First aid for your sore nose through all the blows. Me and my nose got a good relationship now. <laughs> Every day, Roger Thorpe is hiding out. I think he staged his whole disappearance. And every day, he's determined to expose his enemy. Let's find out who shot me. But every day, he's got more enemies than he knows. I'm glad somebody shot him. We gotta find a body. It's a dangerous game of hide and seek. Quick. Turn on the lights. Guiding light. 
Eye to Eye with Connie Chung tonight. It all happened so fast. He just, he grabbed me and he started kissing me. You want this? We've had this date for a long time. Well, damn you. Damn you. You have just made the biggest mistake of your life. You wanted me out of your life? Well, it's going to cost you a hell of a lot more than this stupid little check. You're not giving a dime for me now. Why did I even come here? What made me think I could get through to that sick little mind of yours? I'll be damned if I'm going to let you win now. You go ahead and try to slap me with a lawsuit. I haven't even begun to fight yet. I am going to make your life a living hell. That is a promise, sweetheart. You know, you want me, Connor. You always did. And that'll never change. In your dreams. I love Cal. I always have, and I've lost him now because of you. And if I thought there was any hope that, that he would take me back, I would swallow whatever pride I have left and fall into his arms. And aside from the blood on his lip, there was no other injury? Not that I noticed. But can we... Uh... Yeah, I think, uh, I think that's enough for now. Let's wrap this up. All right, for now, okay. I bet I'll be in touch soon. I'll let myself out. Okay. God, what a mess. There's more, isn't there, Connor? You started to say something earlier. Now... Look, I know this is hard. But listen, you have to tell me everything. I want you to know that I only... I never slept with Link. It was only Cal. Even if he doesn't believe that. And now I'm pregnant. I know you're disappointed about Sierra and the kids not making it up. Disappointed? Of course I'm disappointed. But at least you're going to Montego. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Craig, is everything okay between you and Sierra? Yeah, last time we were together, everything was fine. Well, that's my whole point. She's down there, you're up here. I mean, what... What is going Ma, on? Ma, I'm fine. I'm just trying to squirrel away some big American bucks for some long, hot, Montague winters. So. Yeah? Well, the Oakdale winters get pretty cold, especially if you're not with the person that you love. Come on. Get, get out of here. I want to go to Kim and Bob's. Come on. I want to talk no, to Ma, you. No, Ma, you know, I can't, all right? Listen, this is all worded out about Lily not being here. I better be here if she doesn't show I really have to duck out of here. If Lucinda wants to know where I am, tell her I'll explain everything tomorrow, okay? okay. Good seeing you. Merry okay. Christmas. Okay, bye. Merry Christmas. Hello. Huh. Well, <coughs> I think I'm going to wear this into work. In now, where did that helmet go? Mark, and everybody. Where's the helmet? Hey, Merry Christmas. Hey, Merry Christmas. Dick, I'd like you to meet David Brumbelow. Hi, David. He's American Family's first $10 million winner. What did you think when you saw Ed's picture in your mail? I knew I'd better enter fast. You didn't even know if you had the winning entry. No, but I sure wanted the $10 million. That's the spirit, David. Why let all that money go to someone else? Yeah, why not enter? It's the best thing I ever did. Right. Return your sweepstakes entry from Dick and me now. Ed's going to announce the winning number for American Family soon. Real soon. As a fireman and a father, you're kind of a battery expert to you. Use a lot of them, right? Yep. Uh, any theories as to why Duracell batteries last so long? They take energy from little kids and they put it into their batteries. <laughs> Don't you wish. Duracell. No other battery lasts longer. Clorox Toilet Cleanser has bleach and abrasives to help make stains disappear.
Every time you have an awful cold, do you try a new cold remedy? Well, the search is over. Introducing Robitussin Liquidels. Powerful, non-drowsy relief for your cold. Feeling better? Yeah. New Good. Robitussin Liquidels. Finally, Robitussin relief for your cold. We'll continue with part two of As the World Turns in just a moment. Is the man she loves faxing her death threats? Somebody's setting me up. Or is it someone she'd never suspect? It's time to believe in second chances. Tonight, a teenager caught in an intimate situation. Oh, God. How will an angry parent react? You are out of your mind having that boy arrested. Picket fences, Friday. This is CBS. Next Rad Doppler Radar, only on News Channel 3. Make your season bright. Win her over with this gorgeous diamond heart pendant specially priced at Reed's Jewelers for only $2.49. Yeah, how far away do you think I can get in 72 hours? I wouldn't trust my car past the city limits. For the way you travel today more than ever, the smart money is on budget. Ask for budget smart rates at convenient neighborhood locations. The smart money is on budget. Selling the world's best mattresses at the guaranteed lowest price is not just a promise. It's what we do every day at Sleep Fair. And now Sleep Fair is having a tremendous warehouse clearance sale with clearance savings of up to 70% off. Mattresses, brass beds, day beds, and water beds all ready for immediate free delivery. Hurry for best selection. At these prices, they're going fast. Sleep Fair Mattress and Brass. There's absolutely no reason to go anywhere else. We're the mattress professional. Designing Women, today at 3.30 on News Channel 3. And now, part two of As the World Turns. Come on now, that's it. We can manage. No, it, why don't you two go inside? You're going to miss all the fun <laughs> going on in the parlor. Fun? I'll take dishwashing over popcorn stringing any day. No, come on, you don't appreciate traditional Christmas. Well, she, Connor told me a story. You know, uh, once this mess with Link settles down, maybe you and Connor can work things out. I hope so. Yeah, I appreciate sentiment, Ned, but I'm afraid the damage is already done. Ooh, my old Russell Bustle Russell. <laughs> Will you open this liqueur that Damien gave me? Sure. Oh, I recognize this stuff. <laughs> Tastes like out. licorice, has kick like a mule. What do you think, Ned? Can I interest you in some of this? Uh, no, I, I think I better just kind of try to keep my wits about me. Well, I'll help you out, Cal. All yes. right. See, so we got to go. Here you go. Thanks. <clears throat> yeah. Um, Ned, about before when I brought up Debbie. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset no, you. Please. It wasn't you, it was just that when I was back in New York, all I could think about was how how badly Lincoln hurt her, but... Well, here, everywhere I look, it's like... This investigation put a black cloud over people, people I really care about. I know, it's gonna be okay, though. Once the police find out whoever killed Link, it'll all be okay again. For everyone, and Debbie, too. I hope so. Thanks. Interesting young woman, Miss Anna. She's very thoughtful. Thinking about Debbie? Uh, Emma, would you mind very much if. If you go back to New York for Christmas? <laughs> no. Of course I wouldn't. If you feel that your child needs you, Ned, you have to go. Thanks. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, John. Oh, it's just adorable. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, you're welcome. Look at this great outfit. Isn't this wonderful? Oh, too small oh, for you. Oh, oh, it's it's you. Yeah. I, I think, think this guy is about ready to sack <laughs> out. Oh. Come on. Let's go. Oh, he's getting so big. You know, I'm going to be moving away pretty soon. And, um, but I'm going to visit you a lot. Mm -hmm. And I hope you're going to visit me. <laughs> and, uh, I love you. That's nice, dear. 
Good night. How about we both go? Talk to me. Sure. <laughs> Are you? Well, you're going to be going away. Not that far, but I thought maybe we ought to have a little uh, man to man talk while we have a chance. Nothing really big. I just want to remind you that I love you. That I always will. I don't want you to remember that. Even when we're not around. All right. Merry Christmas, pal. So, do you forgive me for buying this now? Yes, I hope you forgive me. How could I have doubted the most brilliant, kindest, wonderful husband in the whole world? Oh, you, you forgot sexiest. Sexiest. I can't wait to see the look on his face. Let's go give it to him now. Okay. Okay? Well, don't tell me you're standing here pining away for Eduardo. No. No, no, I was... I was thinking about your brother. And I remember this time last year, he called me mother for the first time. Well, I'm sure he's thinking about you wherever he might be this year. Have I told you lately, you are a wonderful son. I know that. It's genetic. I have a wonderful mother. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. Excuse me. Oh, if you're, um, actually, for the no, no, I was looking for you, actually. I'll get that. Uh, hi, you guys. I'll hold it right where you are. Uh, hi. Uh, I was hoping to catch you under the mistletoe. Well, you got me. How am I supposed to work this thing? A cellular phone? For crying out loud. I've got enough problems already, you know, with a microwave and a VCR. Dad. Mac, really, it's a piece of cake. After I program it for you, it'll be easy. Program? Are you kidding? I mean, when I'm at my best, I can't make head or tails of these things, and I haven't been exactly at my best these last few days. I'm sorry, and you better take it back and get your money. No. Take my... I'm not gonna take this back. You can handle this, and you will. What's that fragrance you're wearing? Exclamation! Make a statement! Without saying a word. If you hate the taste of cough syrup, throw in the spoon. Introducing Grixol Cough Liquid Caps. Each one's concentrated to give you eight hours of relief with no bad taste. New Grixol Cough Liquid Caps. Isn't that better? My God! My God! <laughs> <laughs> and what you would that is win if you won 10 million Real art here. out of the blue. Oh God, Miracles can happen, can happen for you. Publishers Clearing House, the house where dreams come true. Hey, America, give that food a new attitude with natural cheese. Give it the flavor of a country fair. Give it the tang that brings your food some flair. Give American food a new attitude with cheese. Give it the kick of a bluegrass vest. Give it a chance to taste its best. Cheese adds life to the old recipes. Give American food a new attitude with cheese. I actually was holding to change my mind. Well, it's obvious that for some reason, which is completely beyond me, he didn't trust my business, my operations. So I thought, I figured, what a better way to put an end to his doubt than to open my records and let him search to his heart content. Now, speaking of Holden, what is the gift that the little kid gave you, Aaron? Oh, I don't know. I, I didn't open it. Oh, come on. Open it up. Let's see what it is. Okay. Yeah. All right. Oh. Oh, this is cute. I knew this. Harmless enough. Oh, 
um, I, I don't mean to um, <laughs> intrude at all, but Duncan has just told me that there was a bomb threat at the Grimaldi offices yesterday. Is Lily... Is she in any kind of danger, or are you, for that Nothing matter? Nothing for I... you to worry about, Lucinda. I guarantee you. Just a random act. Well, that's not bloody likely, considering what's happened to Kingsley Malta executives of late. Well, the authorities are on top of it. But if you have concrete information to contribute, Duncan, then just call. You know, you can contact them personally. I'm so sorry I'm Hello. late. Hi, Hello. sweetheart. Hi, Lucinda, you look beautiful. What a beautiful suit. Lily, Damien, how are you? Nice to see you here. Yes, yes. isn't it? I concur. Where's we'll Bonnie? See. We'll go see her. I'd love to see her. <laughs> That bad, huh? Oh, I don't know. This is such a good idea. Why? I just don't know if I can forgive Lucinda for what she did with Holden. I mean, even though everything turned out fine. Okay. Uh. Bianca, you know, uh, our talk the other day inspired me. Yeah. Oh, wow. May I? Oh, mm -hmm. mother, look. Yeah. Ooh. That's yours. Mm -hmm. And this is yours. Ooh. And this is mine. Lovely. Thank you. And this was Neil's. Oh. Thank you. They're lovely. She made them. Is it okay with you if we just put them on the tree here? Is it okay? She'd love it. So would I. So, once I program it, you'll be all set. You press one button, you get Bob's office. Another one, you get your home. Another one, Graham, whoever. And it dials it automatically. You don't have to remember any numbers. I need one of these things. <laughs> Boy, it's light, too. You know, it's gonna be easy to carry around. This is really some great gift you two gave us. It's great for emergencies, too, Mac. Yeah. And it's a few, few dollars a month. Well, as I said to you about taking that new medicine, I can't think of a better way for us to spend our money. Did Picasso you have a yellow period? <laughs> I think we have an architect in the family. That's excellent, my boy. Excellent. Have you got space for St. Nicholas and his pal here? My boss had to park his sleigh and reindeer on the lawn. Hope you don't mind. Uh, well, well, you smash oh, uh, Hey, you don't look so bad yourself. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't kiss hey, too hard please. now. Whoa. No, no, you want to come with me and deliver some presents for my boss? Yeah. Huh? Come on, let's go over to the old Christmas. Let's do that. I got some. I got something for you, too, young man. Could you tell me what's going on with Craig and Sierra, please? Well, Craig's to going down there to be with her over Christmas. He said visiting. What is visiting supposed to mean? You know what? If there was anything going on, Sherlock Holmes here would already know it and would have already told you. Yeah, right. Um, All right, let's go see Santa. Come on. Good. Don't you tell me that. They're separated. Boy, I have sure missed you, Katie did. Yes, you Yeah, you having a good Christmas? Yeah. I was off to the side of a plane. You must have been shocked. Well, this mess isn't over by a long shot. See that? That's gorgeous. Well, I'm still trying to process all this stuff about Craig and Sierra, but, you know, they'll work it out. I mean, they have to. I hope so. Maybe they will over Christmas. Meanwhile, he doesn't want anybody to know that. Uh, can I lay another one on you? Tis the season. I just had a very enlightening session with Connor Walsh. Looks like I'm going to need a search warrant for a warrant. Connor, open up! It's Kirk! Kirk, this really There's something you have got to know. With all the children's cold medicines out there, how many do you think relieve every major cold symptom? Only one. Children's Tylenol Cold Plus Cough. The only one you need. The pain reliever you've always relied on also comes with powerful medicines to relieve your worst cold symptoms. 
Tylenol cold. Nothing fights a cold like Tylenol cold. Go ahead, ask her age. I'm 34. 42. 29. Who do they think they're fooling? Everyone. New Maybelline Revitalizing Makeup. Aged line coverage. Outwits my lines. New Maybelline Revitalizing Makeup. I'm 40. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe, maybe. It's not too late to collect your favorite Christmas ornaments at JCPenney. During the holiday jewelry sale, we've trimmed our prices 20 to 60%. Save on these elegant diamond tennis bracelets and half-carat diamond-studded earrings, as well as our shimmering 14-karat gold and Seiko wristwatches. So hurry into the JCPenney holiday jewelry sale because these decorations won't be hanging around much longer. Only pull-ups training pants have stretchy sides, like real underpants, for the snuggest, trimmest, big kid fit. And I can pull them off and on. For protection and fit, there's nothing like pull-ups. Mommy, wow! I'm a big kid now. Look, if this is about Lucinda... It's about Lucinda. She saw you at that clinic today, and she's insisting what? you're either pregnant or you're considering having an abortion if you haven't already had one. Kirk, you can't let her print that. Is it true, Connor? Have you had an abortion? Connor? I went to the clinic, yes. And the doctor who examined me said I had a week to decide because they don't do the procedure after the first trimester. Don't do it. Look, I know it's none of my business. I know I'm not exactly parent Kirk, of the year. I'm Maybe already... this is because of what happened between Ellie and me. I mean, even though our kid would have had a lot of difficulties, I still felt that that child was a part of me and that child you're carrying is a part of you and Cal. Well, too bad he doesn't believe it. Well, he will. The minute he sees that baby, I guarantee it and he'll come back. Kirk, I wouldn't have this baby to bring Cal or any man back. Well, then have it for you. Have it for the child. I mean, you said you wanted to be a mother. That was always part of the plan, right? Well, too bad the timing wasn't. Well, that's life. I mean, sometimes you just gotta grab it when it happens. I appreciate you caring so much. I really do. But the fact is that I already made my decision before you came over. And I'm going to have the baby. Mr. Simon, look, I don't think there's any point in us talking. Wrong. We're going to talk. You're going to listen. Okay, you just stay cool. As far as Debbie goes, there's two sides to every story. Not to this one. After you, uh, threw her away, she grabbed some stuff at Emma's and drove straight through to New York. Stumbled into my apartment. All the hysterical. You can't blame you this on. Shut up! She let me clean up. Go to the bathroom, take a shower. She did while she was in there. She slit her wrists. Is she 
she uh, alive? Yes, barely. Physically, she'll survive. But she doesn't talk anymore. Doesn't say a word. Just sits in our hospital room and stares. They destroy my little girl. And it means nothing. No. I want you out of here. I want you out of here now. Go. Go! Just for the record. You'll pay for this. I'll make you pay for this. thing I do. Yeah, well, just for the record, Ned, she wanted it. And she kept coming back for more. Operator 5, where is the emergency? Hello? Hello, 911. I can't. I can't. I'm stuck here with the cops. The girl needs her. for everything and your breast milk gives her everything she needs but if someday her needs change there's always someone you can trust gerber for a gentle formula patterned after breast milk for a soy formula for milk free feeding for the right formula for your baby gerber baby formulas if it doesn't come from you shouldn't it come from gerber hey i'll try sunny tea some good stuff. Hey, two kinds of Sunny D. Some kids love the rich, tangy taste of original Sunny Delight. But other kids prefer California style with its lighter texture and smoother orange taste. I'll take original. Make mine California. Hey, wait up. Sunny Delight, original Florida citrus punch and lighter texture California style. It's showtime. Hi, I'm Toby Terrier, star of my own video. Let's watch your show. Toby, Toby, I love you so, cause I'm a part of your show. Sing along. D-I-N-G-O, Toby, Toby, I love you so. Sing along. D-I-N-G-O. Toby comes to life when he watches his own video. Let's play together. Solve the puzzle. Fire! 
comes with his own video. Other videos sold separately. Batteries not included. Hmm. Miss June, sir. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Needed some time. You sure you're all right? No. Is it about Debbie? It's about me. Duncan, I'm glad that you're okay. Oh, it was great to talk to the kids. I guess I'll uh, see you when I get in. We'll talk about it then. I love you. Later on, we'll conspire <laughs> as we dream by the fire. I think you need to know Montagan authorities positively ID'd that body they found in the explosion. Walking it wasn't Hans, it was Santiago. Hey, Bloody hell, that means Hans is still alive. No man. He is Parson Brown. Parson Brown. Yeah, he married. We'll say no. No, no, no. no. Heaven afar, 
Christmas. Merry Christmas, darling. Oh, yeah. Great out there. Oh, can't be. Fishing. White water. Yeah. When your stomach takes a wrong turn, turn to Maalox. Because Maalox moments only last a moment. Hey, how about some office supplies for Christmas? Sears has what every office needs. Lots of professional-looking dress shirts at only $10.99 each. Hurry, while supplies last. Bring the softer side of Sears home for the holidays. So you uh, quit your job. Right away. Bought a big house and four new vehicles. Uh-huh. Travel a lot. Ready for you, Dick. <laughs> I gotta go. What a story. Wow, American Family sure put David on Easy Street. You bet. It can put you on Easy Street before you know it. Dream big. Ed's going to announce another $10 million prize. All the money you'll ever need and the only sweepstakes with our picture. Get your entry back to us fast. Like David Brumbelow did. Sinus attacks used to be a real problem for me. But lately, I've been doing things that people with sinus trouble can have a hard time doing. Little things like, like playing with my kids. All because of Tylenol sinus. Without sinus pain and pressure, I can do all kinds of things I was missing out on. Only Tylenol Sinus relieves pain and pressure with a maximum strength decongestant and extra strength Tylenol brand pain reliever. Tylenol Sinus just makes me feel better. Maximum strength Tylenol Sinus, the strength you need from the name you trust. Tonight, Merry Christmas, City Slicker. America's favorite fat cat is going home for the holidays. Gadgets, toys, greed. A Garfield Christmas. Then, your favorite Christmas Eve story is back. Hear the merriest holiday classic ever. Twas the night before Christmas after Garfield tonight. Fridays, there's a new law. Never turn your back on a beautiful woman. Burke's Law. Gene Barry adds class to mysteries. The premiere of Burke's Law, Friday, January 7th. by Founds Brothers, jewelry by Monet. Due to special programming, As the World Turns will not be seen tomorrow, but will return Monday at our regular time. On behalf of all of us at As the World Turns, this is Dan Regan, wishing you and your family a joyous holiday season. This is CBS.